team aspect, I guess. If you get really close to everyone on the team and you really like bond and the working together in the boat, I think is really great. Everyone's just like so connected. It's like okay. people really, really care about each other, which is fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I've been rowing for four years here, and really the one thing I've learned about rowing the most is just rowing together. Yeah, I like the, uh, the outside aspect, and also the team. The team really is strong together. Bites. Yeah. Bites. I'm constantly getting gunnel bites and bleeding all over the floor. Well, the blisters. <laughs> it's, it really tears up your hands. A blister is a small pocket of fluid within the outer layers of skin that typically forms when skin has been damaged by friction or rubbing. Calluses are toughened areas of skin that are thick and hard and form in response to repeated friction, such as from the oar handle during practice. These toughened areas are the body's way of protecting itself to prevent damage to the skin. However, if the skin on your hands is exposed to too much friction in too little time, say during training trip after not rowing all winter, Blisters will form instead of calluses. To avoid blisters, you could wear gloves, but many rowers don't. Since you will likely get a blister this season, you need to know how to take care of your hands, so you'll be prepared when a blister happens to you. First step, never pop a blister on purpose. The blister you see on your hands is creating a barrier between you and the outside world, a world filled with bacteria. That said, during practice and daily activities, it is inevitable that blisters will pop. Once they do, the bacteria has an open pathway to your body. Your skin is your body's first line of defense against infection. It keeps dirt and bacteria from entering your body's tissues. But when you have an open wound, that protective barrier is no longer there to protect you from this infectious bacteria. The tissue under your skin is damp and warm and contains nutrients a perfect environment for bacteria to grow. When bacteria get into your body through these open wounds, they can grow very rapidly and infections can occur. When you're rowing, you develop plenty of open wounds, such as popped blisters and scrapes or cuts from boats and oars. And of course, when you have these wounds, bacteria can enter. Dead fish, yeah, a lot of dead fish. Just they explode yeah. when you hit them with your oar because <laughs> of the gas. Yeah. The lake isn't the only source of infectious bacteria. Dirty clothes, hands, shared objects, and surfaces can all be covered with bacteria that can get into wounds and cause infection. Whether you're out rowing on the lake, studying at home, or at the movies with your friends, it's important to be conscious of the threat of infection. Okay, so what is it? it was really Last gross year looking. on spring break, I got to the point where I rode without covering my blisters, and my fingers started swelling up. It was like a sausage. It was, it was super gross looking. It was literally, it was like, it, I think I got a stretch mark from it. It was so bad. <laughs> Actually, yeah, my, uh, my brother almost died. He got a staph infection in his hand, and uh, it went septic and almost killed him. Your body will heal the wound eventually, but while it is open, it is extremely important to guard against infection. The number one way to do this is to keep the wound clean by washing your hands and using hand sanitizer regularly. To use hand sanitizer, squirt the hand sanitizer onto your hands and rub your hands for 30 seconds. Make sure to get both the front and back of your hands as well as between your fingers. If your hands are visibly dirty, hand sanitizer is not enough to clean them. You must wash them with soap and water. Wash your hands for the time it takes to sing happy birthday two times. Again, make sure to get both the front and back of your hands as well as between your fingers. Dry your hands on a clean towel or use an air dryer when you are finished. It's easy to remember to keep your hands and wounds clean when you row, but rowing is only two hours of the day. Life is the other 22. It's very important that you keep the wound protected and clean throughout all of your daily activities. At home, after practice, keep the wound clean, covered, and moist. A gauze pad or band-aid will help protect the open wound from infectious bacteria in the environment. And although your body has good defenses on its own, you may choose to use an antibacterial ointment like Neosporin to help keep the wound moist and fight off infection. 
Since it's very likely that you will have open wounds at some point during the season, it's important to be able to identify when a wound may be becoming infected. Infected wounds may be red, warm, swollen, pus-filled, painful, and you may see red streaks coming from the wound. Other signs of infection include fever, headache, body ache, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, rapid pulse, or rapid breathing. So I have an infection. What's the big deal? Why do I care about infections anyway? Can't you just take a pill and be fine? That's what you might be thinking, but this is not always the case. Infections can have devastating complications and can, in some cases, lead to death. MRSA infections are especially dangerous as they are resistant to antibiotics. Besides being red, swollen, and painful, MRSA infections can travel from the skin to the bloodstream and affect organs and other body tissues. MRSA can also lead to other life-threatening conditions, including pneumonia, septicemia, bacteremia, cellulitis, endocarditis, meningitis, and osteomyelitis. In serious cases, MRSA can lead to septic shock or toxic shock, which can ultimately be fatal. Use hand sanitizer before and after every practice. Wear clean, dry clothes. Do not share towels, ointments, or any other personal item that comes into contact with bare skin. Keep all equipment clean using a 1% bleach solution. This means wiping ore handles after each practice and cleaning boats once a week. Erg handles and seats should also be cleaned with bleach solution after each use. Clean any other surfaces that come into contact with open wounds with a bleach solution. Know the signs of infection and report any suspected infection to coaching staff immediately. That means if you notice it before practice, don't wait until after practice to report it. MRSA and other infections can spread quickly. Anyone showing signs of infection should seek medical care immediately. Don't wait until after practice. Shower promptly when you get home from rowing and wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water as soon as you return from rowing or anywhere else or whenever your hands become soiled. Keep existing wounds clean and moist by washing regularly and covering with a gauze pad or a band-aid. You may also choose to use an antibacterial ointment such as Neosporin. Wash your hands or use hand sanitizer regularly. Do not intentionally pop blisters. Know the signs of infection and report any suspected infection to an adult immediately. Parents and guardians, inspect your child's hands and any injuries regularly, especially if you know they have open wounds. If any signs of infection are observed, seek medical care immediately. Don't wait. 